My name is Bernard Ashwanden. At Publishing Smarter, one of the things we do is create videos like this one to help people learn how to use their software tools better. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch Adobe FrameMaker 11 after you've installed the Adobe Technical Communication Suite 4 using the trial version. This installation is on a basic Windows XP machine, so I'm beginning by clicking Start and then choosing All Programs. Based on your operating system, this might be a little different. Then I click on Adobe Technical Communication Suite 4. And finally, I click on Adobe FrameMaker 11. Because this is a first launch, I have to choose an interface, either FrameMaker or Structured FrameMaker. The two are very similar, but Structured FrameMaker enables additional features, like working with XML and with DITA. In this case, I'm using the FrameMaker trial, so I have to actually click Start Trial. If you've got a full install, this screen would not appear. That's about it. You're into the software and ready to work with it day to day.